Hey guys, this is the first time I've had the Xterra out at the beach. I'm driving out at the North Carolina coast right now. First time I've had it out since I've installed the electric cooling fan on that AC condenser. The sand is nice and soft today. And it's about uh, 82 degrees right now and clear skies. So I'm driving down the beach. I'm going away from the wind. And I've got my AC turned on. And my temp gauge is right in the middle. So it's definitely uh, helping with the coolant for the engine but also the air conditioning uh, is cold the air coming out of here is pretty cold even though I got my windows open I just wanted to experiment with it to see how the engine and the AC responded to it so so far so good also I've done the upper intake plenum and throttle body coolant bypass mod which uh, I bypass the coolant lines to go through the upper intake manifold and that throttle body so it reduces the overall amount of coolant in the engine cooling system but it also eliminates about six different points where you could possibly be leaking coolant which is one of the problems that made my truck prone to overheating so now that I've got that fixed up and I've got the supercharged radiator installed and I've got that electric cooling fan to turn on whenever the AC is on and with the coolant topped off I'm on the coast uh, granted it's not in the, the mid 90s like it might be in July but uh, for Memorial Day weekend it's still pretty warm and it's direct sunlight out here and going away from the wind I'm still in a good range for the temperature of that truck so I definitely recommend uh, looking into that modification for the cooling fan and also bypassing those upper coolant hoses if you have coolant leaks that are giving you trouble so let me know if you have any questions but so far it looks good How'd that sound, man? Fine. All right. Well, hey, we're almost out of here, so. Smooth sailing, no overheating, perfect, perfect mechanical adventure.